Welcome to Get Your FRQ On. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your graphing calculator into sequence mode so that you can define and work with sequences. So in order to get my graphing calculator to work with sequences instead of functions, I'm going to go to mode, because this is a mode on this calculator. So I'm going to click on mode and then notice where it says function way at the end is SEQ for sequence. So I'm going to navigate there and then hit enter to make sure that's my selection and then I'm going to quit. And then notice what happens when I hit my Y equals button. Completely different setup. All right, so now that I'm in sequence mode, I can define my smallest N that I want to use for my sequence. And then I can define the sequence. And then notice this N right here if I'm in sequence mode, I use the same key as I would if I were defining a function, which is going to use X. But because I'm in sequence mode, it's going to put in an N instead. Right? And then I can just define whatever sequence I want. Right? So if I want to figure out some term of the sequence, notice, let's see, where is it? Right above the 7 here is a little lowercase u, a lowercase v over the 8, and a lowercase w over the 9. Those are sequences. Suppose I wanted to calculate the 27th term uh, of my sequence. So I can go to second u, parentheses, and then I just want the 27th term. And it's negative 675. So once I have that sequence defined as a sequence in my calculator, uh, I can evaluate it, I can do a bunch of different stuff with it, uh, and it's pretty handy to work with.